and I will nod in front of the others. And if you win? I get to knock your brains out with my hammer. The second episode of American Gods began our travels across America as Wednesday stopped by on one of his old friends. And before I get to who that particular character was, we're beginning to see the bigger picture for what may be coming in the future of the show. We already know from the premise of the story that Wednesday is recruiting his fellow lost and forgotten gods to form a stand against the new. We've learnt little about Wednesday's identity, as well as meeting fellow old gods Mad Sweeney and Bilquis. Though in terms of the new gods, we've only ran into the frightening technical boy. And this week, we met the character whom I wanted to meet the most, and that is Chernabog. Peter Stamare makes his debut as the rough, gruff, sledgehammer-wielding god of darkness, who Wednesday was looking to recruit into his ranks. From what I understand, Chernobog is the old Slavic god, an evil god, the black god, and one who isn't exactly the friendliest of types. He seems to have lived up to that reputation already, and like many of the old gods do, he wants things to go back to the way they were as he recited his fond memories of using his favourite tool. Nowadays, his practicality is not needed anymore, so to find a way to make use of that, he decided to make a little wager. He was reluctant to join up with Wednesday, stating the madness that he was previously dragged into. That trouble has not bothered him for quite some time, but him returning to the fold to show the other gods the true meaning of strength was something that he would not be conned into. However, he was willing to side with him on one condition. All it would take for that was for Shadow to beat him at a game of checkers. But if Shadow were to lose, that old rusty sledgehammer that yearned for blood would be sated with that of his own. It was a game of life and death, but Shadow, still grieving and lost for meaning, doesn't care about throwing caution to the wind. In some ways, you get the feeling he just wants his suffering to end. And after losing that game to Chernobog, if that's what he wants, he might just get his wish. Nah, look, I don't believe for a second he will be bludgeoned next week at all, so I guess either something will happen to change Chernobog's mind, or Wednesday will make some kind of deal. In either case, I expect Shadow's journey to continue for a little bit longer. Now, Godswise, this episode actually kicked off with the introduction of Mr. Nancy, who I believe goes by the name of Anansi the Spider. Orlando Jones seems to be a great fit, and he gave an impressive speech there to rouse those men into rising up against their captors. It was a powerful scene to begin the episode with, and given the time that his introduction had, I imagine he could have a key role in the fight that is to come. Anansi is the trickster god, and gods need two things, which is belief and sacrifice. And he definitely got the latter from those slaves when they sent the ship up into flames. He also seems to be able to morph into a spider when the need arises. Ugh, spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? Oh, and we got a glance at someone who I presume is another old god who passed shadow in that diner. No idea who that was though, but devilish with the eye flash, and I imagine we'll see him again very soon. Now in terms of the new gods, as we know, we've only seen Technical Boy thus far, and this episode we met a much more composed new god in the form of media. Gillian Anderson is the god of television who appeared to Shadow and offered him to join her side. She was much more polite in the moment when compared to Technical Boy, and she even allayed her amusement to how calmly and confidently Shadow dealt with that particular situation. Sadly, he was to decline her offer. I mean, one of her fellow gods did try to hang Shadow in the previous episode, so for now, it was likely a wise decision. We are now, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. And he ain't even yesterday anymore. My overall verdict for the second episode of American Gods is an 8 out of 10. Chernobog was without question the standout character from the episode. Mad Sweeney had a decent introduction last week, and his brawl with Shadow was great, but Chernobog's 20 minutes or so he was granted at the end seems to solidify that he could have a big part in the war to come. They absolutely nailed the casting once again, as more Peter Stamare is always a good thing. He seems an ideal fit for a character that has been shaped by war, so hopefully he will join up with Wednesday for the war that is looming in the future. 
American Gods weaves in plenty of political aspects, and don't expect this episode to be the last of the show doing that. This episode was more centric on race, as Mr Nancy's monologue foretold the future for anyone black in America for the coming centuries. Chernobog brought up Shadow's race as well, but he seemed to be happy for now at least at having one black friend, even if he kills him in the next episode. Now back to Wednesday, we know we've learnt scarcely little about his true identity. We only know that he's an old god, an old god who seems to wield a lot of power, that he has one eye, and from that shot in the sky, he seems to have a power with the elements, in particular lightning. Like I say, I have my thoughts on who he really is, I don't want to reveal it for those who don't know, but since this episode actually called him by his name, in German albeit, it confirms my earlier thoughts. The German name, by the way, if you do wish to know, was Wartan. Now I do have a lingering question still to who on earth saved Shadow from being lynched at the end of the premiere. Wednesday didn't seem to have a clue what he was talking about, and it wasn't an old god like Chernobog who I thought might have been introduced that way. All we saw was Shadow being stitched up, but we know someone cut that rope and then completely massacred those attackers. So who the hell was it? Looks like we'll have to wait to find out the answer. Now I've already mentioned how Chernobog was the standout character for the week, and him playing checkers with Shadow was easily my favourite moment as well. It was just the way he was humming and singing away as Shadow was in a game for his life, goes to show he is unwavering in the idea of taking another life. He said his hammer has taken thousands of lives already, so next week we'll find out if Shadow's name will be added to that list. That does it from me, what did you guys think of the second episode of American Gods? And did you enjoy Peter Stamare's debut as much as I did? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching, please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you on the next one. So, it's sunrise, I get to knock your brains out.